of a project looking at how easily you could monitor the movement of a bridge using low cost, easy to deploy sensors. We installed six wireless sensors on the Clifton Suspension Bridge and they were detecting the vibrations and also how much the, the bridge went up and down in the wind and when vehicles and when pedestrians went over it. So we put together uh, the hardware, the software and the data management platform so that all the data is collected on the bridge and then streamed back wirelessly to a server where it can be stored or processed or visualised. We are using that data to inform the behaviour of some robots that will be playing a harp. It takes lots of cues from the bridge, so it has 41 strings on each side, which mimic the cables of the bridge. It has the same arc and the same proportions as the bridge. It is played by these robots that move up and down inside it, and that movement is what is informed by the data at the bridge. The composition will take place really in the tuning, so how each string is successively tuned in relation to the whole and also in relation to its immediate neighbours. But it's been it's hard to remember that it's not a harp and it's not the bridge. Exactly. It's a weird harp bridge that we, <laughs> we, we, needn't stick, we needn't stick to some of the variables, but some have to be set. It's been a bit of a feat of engineering, right? working within the constraints. We needed to decouple it acoustically and the arms couldn't touch because otherwise there'd be too much sound transferring and you'd just hear sounds of motors <laughs> rather than the actual harp. Anything can be represented sonically, it's just a question if the data that you use is something that's going to produce something harmonious or not. It's always nice to give voice to the data rather than mm. just create the composition and make something fit to what you have created before. But often you're looking for patterns in data and music is patterned, so maybe the Maybe you can, it can help you pick out patterns you wouldn't have otherwise seen, maybe putting things to music. The way that the data is used on the instrument is very direct and it still manages to give us a bit of information about how active the bridge is, but also give us an aesthetic representation of data which can be pleasing and different from uh, the music that you would usually hear coming out of an arc.